locked in place, why do you have why would you have to go to the politicians for them not to, to set up laws for them not to kill you? The voting that we've been doing for all this time has it benefited our It's been worthless. Why do I have to wave a banner <laughs> to let other people know, the other nations know that the people of color, their lives matter? Yeah. Why? Because within those groups, you have thieves, you have adulterers, you have homosexuals, right? You might have an Edomite or a so-called white person married to a, a, a so-called black person. That's out of order. Mike, yeah. nice to meet you, Mike. Right. I'm Oran. I got a question for you. One of the main things they talk about at these rallies, if you right. listen, is poli politics. Yeah. Right? Sure. How long we been voting for? I mean, I years. <laughs> a long time, a long time. right? Long time. We've been voting for a long time. Yeah. The rhetoric that they push is that it's DeSantis' fault. Right. That it's the politician fault. Yeah. That we need to go to the politicians right. and set laws in place. Why do you have why would you have to go? to the politicians for them not to, to set up laws for them not to kill you. Bring it up. Shouldn't that be normal? That should be normal. That should be normal, right? So the voting that we've been doing for all this time, has it benefited our it's people? It's been worthless. It's been because worthless. Because they do what they want with the votes. Okay, so they you know, so, prove that. Now, would you be surprised if that's in the Bible? No, no. Okay, watch this. Go to uh, Deuteronomy 17. Yeah, read what you got. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 17 and verse 15. Check this out, Mike. Thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee, whom the Lord thy God shall choose, one from among thy brethren. Among who? One from among thy brethren. If you're gonna, if you're gonna set a king over you, the law, that's a law. Let's do the Ryan 17. Right. It says it has to be someone of your kindred. So you're not even supposed to be out here voting and setting another nation up over you. That's, that's right. That's a law in the Bible. Ain't that crazy? So, so that's why that's why voting and 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 talking to the politicians on is never going to work. That's right. It's never going to work. Our people. This is how naive our people are, right? They got the zeal for God, but it's not according to knowledge. You understand what I'm saying? They don't understand that if you. It, that's almost uh. That, that's psychotic. Yeah. When you keep doing the same thing over and over and you're, you're, you're crazy at that point. Right, you are. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? Why not keep the why not keep the law? Right. Because that's to get us from under this oppression. Because we're under oppression right now. Okay, now some people will say, well, why would a God do that? Because you mentioned oppression, right? Why would a God do that? Because where they killed the Hampton brothers at in Chicago, um, they 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 manipulated where when they killed the Hampton brothers in Chicago, they manipulated the laws in order to be able to go inside Panther headquarters and shoot them. Okay, all right, you and know. they got away with that too, right? And, Did and anybody go to jail for that? No, by nobody, nobody, nobody went to jail. jail. They went to the graveyard. Uh, uh, Zach, uh, uh, Zachariah 11 and 5 first, and I got you holding a few things. Go to Zechariah 11 and 5. Because you said they came up in the house, shot the house up, and nobody got arrested for that. Nobody got arrested. And he was set up by his own people, too. Right. Keep that in mind, too. Because we wicked as hell, too, now. That's right. We wicked as hell, too. Right. We not exempt either. We got some work to do, too. Read what you got. Zechariah chapter 11 and verse 5. Uh -huh. Whose possessors slay them uh -huh. and hold themselves not guilty. There's a key word in there, whose possessors, meaning what? We are still in captivity. We came here off of slave ships. We still in captivity. That's it right. says whose possessors slay them and then do what? And hold themselves not guilty. That's in the Bible. <laughs> and they hold themselves not yeah, guilty. Yeah, Nobody expert. got arrested for that killer. No, no, of course Nobody not. got arrested for that. And guess what? That ain't the, the, the that ain't the first, that ain't gonna be the last either. Right. And what the main point is, that was 1972. Right. And the people that was leading the protest now, 
they were saying, arguing the same things that they were arguing exactly, in 1972. Right? Exactly, they were arguing the same thing. Yeah. Arguing the same so thing. But <laughs> the difference is, what we preaching out here, we got the Bible. Yeah. We got God behind yeah. us. You understand? So that's the difference. That's what, they didn't, the that's what makes the difference. They didn't have the Bible. Right. They didn't have the Bible. They understood that our people were being oppressed, right. but they didn't know how to go about it. Because without God, everything's going to fail. It ain't gonna prosper, right? You read that in Psalms too. Uh, please ask me. Is it what? So what is it? Psalm 127. I think it is. And what verse one? One verse one. Yeah. Sure. Watch this, cause we talking about it. The difference is we are gonna show you our descriptions. All right, what the Bible say. Watch this. Read what you got. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 127 and verse one. Uh huh. Except the Lord build the house. Except the Lord build the house. So all, all these people out here, the Bible says, except the Lord builds that house. Watch this. They labor in vain. They labor in vain. So they can, look, you can have thousands of people out here marching for what? For, for black rights, for um, um, the Black Lives Matter. Why do I have to wave a banner <laughs> to let other people know, the other nations know that the people of color, their lives matter? Yeah, we human beings. Just That's like crazy. <laughs> God is telling you that all this is for nothing because God is not behind this. You know why? I'm going to be real with you. You know why? Because within those groups, you have thieves, you have adulterers, you have homosexuals, right? You have, you have, you might have an Edomite or a so-called white person married to a, a, a so-called black person. That's out of order. You think God's going to back that up and it's completely out of order? It doesn't work like that. No, gonna it doesn't that. work like that. No, it never going to work like that. Read it again. Except the Lord build a house. Uh -huh. They that labor in vain that build it. Uh -huh. Except the Lord keep the city. Except the Lord keep the city. Watch this. The watchman waketh but in vain. They wake up. They. This is all in vain. Now, we out here, what? We not in support of Black Lives Matter. In that sense, you understand what I'm saying? We in support of the truth. We in support of the truth. Right, That's right. what we in support of. Right. We in support of the truth. If we don't keep God's laws, nothing's going to ever change. Right. Nothing's ever going to change. Get Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. I'm glad that you're out here listening, bro. I'm glad you're out here listening. Because this is good for you. Yeah, it is. This is this is how this is what we call building. We building right now. Watch this. Read what you got. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7 and verse 7. Because, Mike, you mentioned oppression earlier, right? right? Watch this. Let's see what the Bible says. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. The Bible says oppression should make a wise man mad. Why? Because you see the hurt. He read earlier Jeremiah 8 and 21, right? The hurt for the hurt of my people, right? No. Yeah, you, yeah, we're supposed to feel a certain type of way that right. we get killed in the streets. Yeah. And guess what? Like we mentioned earlier, it ain't just Edomites, it ain't just white people that's going up in the store and killing our people. No, it's black people. Bro. We uh, kill ourselves people. more so. It's our people. It's our people. They have turned it so much around into it. We doing the job that they done did for 200, 300 years. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> again, exactly. <laughs> Read it again. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. Uh huh. And a gift destroyeth the heart. And a gift destroyeth the heart. How? What's a gift that would destroy the heart? They would have uh, Black Lives Matter. They would fund them. Right. Yeah. yeah. Do you think we get any money from it? Of course from not. You never see they don't even want us here. Yeah. <laughs> That's a gift destroy the heart because they get funding, right? What they do with the money? Have you ever seen what they do with the money? Yeah, I'm gonna put here. Mike. I'm gonna put no. We, we do, cause we do? yeah, cause it's public information. The Black Lives Matter movement took the money, the millions and millions of dollars that quote unquote black and Hispanic people gave to the movement. I'm gonna go like this for the movement. You know what they did with the money? Bring it up. They it gave up. it to the Democratic Party. They put it back in the politicians. They put it back in the politicians' hands. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they... Mike, if you don't believe me, no, look believe it up for yourself. <laughs> The number one, uh, uh, the number one, uh, what's it, like a donor? Is that what that's called? Donor, yeah. The number one person they gave the money back to was, uh, I think it was Hillary Clinton at that time. I believe it was. It was the Democratic Party. Democratic they gave Party. all the money back to the, to, the to the rotten politicians. That's who they gave the money back right. to. Our people are crazy. Yeah. Instead of building little YMCAs and little things for the community to build us up, you know, they gave the money back to, to politicians. 
And they, and they also took the money and splurged it on themselves. Right, too. of course. Of course. Alright, they bought mansions in California. Uh huh. And it's ran by lesbians, too. That's, that, you don't think that's out of order? You think God's gonna well, back not, that up? You're not gonna endorse that. No, he's not gonna endorse that. Where are we at? He's trying to call us back Go to, to uh, Joe. <laughs> he's he trying to do what? Call us back to him. He that's wants right. us to, to be in his Give fold. me Ecclesiastes 5 and 8, and then give me uh, Job 36 and 5. Watch this. We're talking about oppression. Our people got to understand that the Most High is making it harder for us out here. He's not going to let up. He's going to continue to allow these things to happen to our people so that we can wake up from the dunghill that we're in as a people. He's going to keep that fire on us. You understand what I'm saying? And it's not going to go away until we repent as a people. Watch this. Do what you got. Five and eight. Yep. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 5 and verse 8. Uh -huh. If thou seest the oppression uh -huh. of the poor. Of the poor, go ahead. And violent perverting of judgment uh -huh. and justice. So if you see the oppression of the poor, right? And the violence and the judgment going on to our people, right? Watch this. In a province, marvel not at the matter. Uh -huh. For he that is higher than the highest, regard it. And there be higher than they. And you see that? So who is it? That's God that's behind it. Watch this. Job, Job 36 and 5. Watch this. Let's see who let's see who's behind the oppression. It's 15? 36, 15. 36, 15. Last scripture, Mike. Last scripture, watch this. Read what you got. The book of Job, chapter 36 and verse 15. Uh-huh. He delivereth the poor in his affliction and openeth their ears in oppression. And do what? Openeth their ears in oppression. You heard that, Mike? You didn't even hear that, Mike. He opens their ears. Oh, you did. In, in what? In what? In oppression. In oppression. Right. In oppression. <laughs> you got the flyer, right, Mike? Yeah, I got it. Okay. What you gonna do with that flyer? Well, I'm, I'm gonna try to keep up with y'all and, and contact y'all if the phone number is in there. The phone there. number's in there. Right. The address is in there. Okay, cause right. you know the people need the truth. So look, if, us. if you understand, look, Mike, okay. if you understand that our people are being oppressed, right? Yes. You understand that. You understand that voting, marching, and all this stuff yes, that we're doing. And so what is your job? It starts with you, don't it? Yeah. Because guess what? It started with me. It started with him. It started with him. It's one at a time. Well, I done already changed to treat other black men respectable as human beings. That's a start. That's a start. That's a start. And that was hard with some of the, the replay that comes back you, and forth. Are you from Jacksonville? Yes. Born and raised? Yes. Okay, so you know this is a tough city. Yeah, it's a tough city. It's a tough city. <laughs> it's a tough city. So that's a start. Getting along with your brother, guess what? Uh, Zephaniah 2 1. Getting along with your brothers, that's a start. But you also got to be keeping the commandments there. Right. You understand? For in order for the Most High to bless you and, and keep your ways, you got to be keeping the commandments. There's no other way. You have to unify and keep the commandments. You have to keep the commandments. There's no other way. You're going to be unified like these. You're going to be unified like all these other groups. You're unified in what? There, there's whoremongers within the group. There's thieves among the group. There's homosexuals. God ain't going to bless that. It don't work like that. You've got to be keeping the commandments. The ability, once they infiltrate a, a black organization, you know what I mean? <laughs> and, then, and then what happens to the organization? The organization get destroyed from inside because, you know, they they, they, they make it corrupt. They make it corrupt? Right. Right. Because of all those things, because God's not blessing it. That's why. That's why. What you got? Zephaniah 2 and 1. I know you got to go, man. You, you got the information. You know we got to... Our school is on the back of that fly. Our school is at um, off of Edgewood. All right, you can okay. come anytime. Bro. Okay. We welcome you there to come. Okay. come to Earth. Well, I'm gonna keep this information and contact y'all. Come and come and see us. We're there on the Sabbath. On Saturday, you can come there at two two p.m. two thirty. Well, in. what y'all doing is is priceless. So you hey, know. come check us out, bro. Don't just be about it in word. Be about it in in, uh, in, in deed too. Matter of fact, get that James one twenty two. Is that James one twenty two? Yes, yes. So watch this. Got good, uh, James. Is it James one? Uh, yes. Be yeah, here in the word. Yep. Read that. Mm -hmm. The book of James, chapter one and verse twenty two. Uh huh. Be but be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Read it again. Be ye doers of the word uh -huh. and not hearers only. Be ye doers of the word. And guess what? 
not a hearer only. You gotta be keeping the commandments. All this marching that, I mean, when are we gonna get tired of this, man? Come on. When are we gonna get tired of marching as a people? When are we gonna be tired of the gallery? This, this does nothing for our people. It's just a, it's the same thing in the Christian church. It's just a feel good speech. Yeah, we, we all together in unity. We gotta stop the violence. Meanwhile, down, down in Moncrief, we shooting each other and killing each other. Right. Why? Because God's laws are not being applied. Right. It always goes back to God's laws. Shalom Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. And finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord.